Well, during TI, I think it just we were like on a momentum that helped us a lot. Uh, I can't describe it, the feeling that you, you just go in and play and you, you, you just feel it, you know. It's over for Secret G. GG, good luck next is called by Empire. GG well played, VP realize the truth. Team Liquid will eliminate them. GG, Liquid have done it. GG, Albert White crumbles under the pressure. Newbie dropping like flies at GG. When you win a tournament like that, it feels like you achieved your goal, so you just gotta search for a new one. It's a whole procedure from beginning to end. We just gotta find something else to aspire for, and for the moment, we're aspiring to win second DI. Because for such a long time I've been running after this one achievement and I didn't really know what to do anymore. It was my sole purpose of like, my career and my ambitions and uh, even today I still have to like fight with it a little bit but uh, life goes on, gotta like set new goals. It didn't change my life much, like I don't really have a good use for the money right now. But fast forward five years maybe, it's gonna probably make my life a bit easier. I'm gonna have a nice place for myself and uh, that's a nice feeling that you have something to back you up after this eSports career. A lot of people get lazy after winning TI because, you know, they achieved whatever they wanted. But it's like when we won TI, my, my next goal was to win the second TI because no one has ever done that before, so it's, it motivates me to go even harder. After TI, we all took a break for quite a bit, some more, some less, and then we went to Stahlader. Surprisingly, we did quite well at the event, even, although we didn't have much practice coming into the event. Skating this time, liquid style, here with the other liquid boys. Named a few, a Kuroki GHTI winner, and this crazy kid. Never ice skated in his life, but he still can. Holy shit. All right, catch us tomorrow, day after tomorrow, in the stall at a minor at Ukraine, Kiev, peace. Not to boast, but we felt like we were above other teams. And at Starladder, I think um, not many teams could have a strategic edge on us. Mineski, I, I love you guys. I'm sorry, but this is over. And a that spirited is run. That last game is going to haunt them as yes, Liquid show them how anti-mage is done. No TI curse here, boys. No TI curse here. Team Liquid. Coming into ESL, I feel pretty confident. But um, at the same time, we do respect the fact that uh, a lot of teams have been practicing really hard after TI. They played a lot of qualifiers and it's the kind of practice that we couldn't get in. So we have to be a bit careful, but overall uh, I'm confident. Other teams probably were watching us in TI, but I definitely feel that our play style is unique and a lot of people have been trying to recreate this. We're gonna find out if that happened indeed and Yes, I'm hungry. Yeah, I want to drive that car. <laughs> I'm going to steal it. I didn't get in, boy. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know, he, he goes crazy on me sometimes. I'm just trying to have a little fun, you know, I just push him a little bit, like, barely. He goes fucking ham on me, he starts screaming. Uh. It was cool, like, finding a Mercedes with the liquid logo. But the, the only thing that got to us is having to walk in the rain a lot. So that maybe got us a little sick. So I hope we just get a feel better before the event starts. Something that comes to your mind when I say TSM. When? TI8. When? Salty. Pringles. <laughs> 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 <Yes. laughs> Welcome back to Hamburg, everyone, and welcome to live coverage of ESL1 Hamburg 2017. And to start things off, what a, what a game we've got. The reigning world champions, the TI7 grand champions, the team who haven't been beaten for seemingly months on end. Well, not seemingly, they just haven't been beaten in a tournament for months on end. That's right, Team Liquid are going head-to-head -head against SG Esports, those crazy South Americans, and we'll see how they get on in this next matchup. The come and kill me debate from Miracle, and it seems to prove, prove to be very effective here for the side of Liquid as they've taken down two, make that three, double kill for Miracle. But SG, they're being slowed up incredibly by this dagger and search from Miracle. They'll look to Remnant out, up to the safety of the high ground. Is he actually going to be that safe at all, though? Miracle's just diving, chasing them past the tier three, picks up the double as he takes down Bardino. No surprises there at all, as GG is called Liquid will take down SG in this best of one and pretty much in, in the expected fashion as well. This was the liquid that we've come to know. Oh, when you look at Rubik, Rubik sits like this, but when you look at the rule, he's doing this, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's a specialty. <laughs> Welcome back to ESL One Hamburg 2017. We're almost ready to get into our second series of the day. Team Liquid versus Virtus Pro. This is going to sound weird, but uh, when I used to work with Liquid, the idea was they almost wanted to lose once in a while just to get like that ego check. Sometimes you need that reminder that you're not as good as you think you are, that your ideas need revamping and they need to get overhauled. So I think if there's a series that they could lose, it's definitely this one. Pasha forces away. He knows that there's no TP cancel. He no, just goes straight out underneath their noses. No TPs out. They can't hold him back. See you, GH. And they'll look to GH and they do take him. Miracle's gone. GH is well in trouble. Has to buy back. The rest of Liquid are falling. Kuro's down. Mind control. GG is called. Virtus Pro take the game one against Liquid. No one's trying to help him out here. BKB comes out from the Tumor Man, looks towards Solo. Solo can't get any spell off. Ramses gets cut down as well. He's down for nearly two minutes. He does have buyback. No one could be in trouble as well. Pops the BKB, but the physical damage from the Tumor Man seems to be too much. It's game over for Virtus Pro. We will be going to a game three as Liquid take game two. There's the chase, they have the Diffuser Blade, GH will look for the grab, but again, the stolen Primal Split, he's using it to move in for more. No one's trying to back back, a Miracle fully though, Miracle, he's gone! Miracle's down, no buyback available for 100 seconds. Can they get anything more out of this? Mind Control drops the Poison Nova, but he's out as well. GH to full, and it is indeed game over. GG is called, Virtus Pro take the series 2-1 against Team Liquid. What happened in that last VP game? Like. Oh, do we really have to talk about it? We don't have to. Oh, please. Uh, okay. Yeah, please yeah, Communication is up there being one of the most important quality a team can have. The conversations are give and take. You need to listen. You need to 
give your opinion and be able to receive the second opinion without having the need to answer back, just to be able to comprehend what the other person is trying to say. Communication is just the life between people. Because a team is like a relationship. We are five people. Like it's, it's a five, five people with strong opinions. It's not easy to manage. Especially if you have a team that's multinational. I got metal. I got metal in case. Yeah. I mean, of course, communication and other stuff are very important. But if you don't trust each other, everyone's gonna have like mixed feelings about how they feel about each other, and they don't see the same picture. So I think trust is very, very important. I'm spending time with my team more than I do with my actual family. That's what usually happens, because I'm always on the road and we're always together. I'm, I'd say like 15 hours out of each day, I'm with them. The team is like a family, no doubt about it. You're like five, six, seven guys, you fight, you do, you do whatever the, uh, like in a family happens. I don't think there's any difference, to be honest. Hello. It sounds cliche, but we have to understand each other. Hard work, I think, is a given. Um, you have to play a lot. Talk about Dota every day. It has to be like a relationship where you give and take from each other instead of just being like, I'm just gonna do my part and you know, we're TI winning team, we're all good players and we're gonna win. No, I don't think that's how it should be this, this year. If we want to have more achievements, greater achievements, we should not start thinking individually because that's not how we won TI and other lands. We actually became a team. Yeah, you know who it is. So playing for a place tomorrow in the semi-final. Please welcome to the Barclay Card Arena in Hamburg. It is Team Liquid. Lane. Look at this smoke from King Gaming. Miracle's going to jump into the midst of it. Put stolen balance driving to Yamagiro. But GH in with the echo. The fish out the Wukong's chain. Frost, this is absolute destruction coming out from Liquid. If they can kill this Queen of Pain, it'll be absolutely huge. He forces himself down. Still has the blink. GG is already called. GG. Uh, Liquid are just going to uh, quickly clean up the mid lane. They move towards bottom. Buybacks are coming out. Liquid, they're getting a couple of melee wrecks out of this one. And maybe some kills as well. And Keen Gaming, it's all falling apart slowly but surely. Liquid will end up taking the series 2-0. Keen Gaming is a very good team. Uh, I've been following them for a long time, so not easy by any means. What is Team Secret you're playing tomorrow? You're playing Team Secret. What do you expect? We played them a lot of times recently. Not sure what to expect, but uh, we're here to win. Put your hands together for the birthday boy, Kuroki and Team Liquid. They go through to the semi-finals. To say undefeated, I think it's uh, maybe too big of a goal, especially after winning TI. Like, it's hard to like, stay on top all the time. I like to take things uh, step by step. It's the team that creates the pressure upon themselves. I feel like there is some kind of pressure on us just to come out there and play good. I don't really care about uh, what I have to prove. You know, like, I just try to do my best and that's about it. GH is going to go for mid one here. They're trying to go for the body block with the Treants as well as the slow. With the strike. side strike over the top, that's going to be another miracle kill. Dagon completed on. Oh, oh Jesus. he's going to pop with it. the dagger. He's going to be able to bring down mid one. He did not see that one coming. I'm not sure what Secret is meant to do to defend against this. There's so many things hitting at their building. Creeps are everywhere. Venomancer's contact to Sprout again. Secret. They're going to call GG on game number one. Liquid are making sure not to group off too much. Ace is going to go for the kill on him. But Tumba Man take a lot of magic damage. Will manage to bring him down with health being power. And Miracle's just getting kited around constantly. They've completely abandoned him. Mind Control really couldn't do much, but they still managed to catch him. 
Mind Control does go down. They get all three cores out of that. And Secret just steamroll through Liquid into their base. Gonna be able to catch GH as well. Liquid, they know they are completely out of this game. Secret successfully push it to a game three. Both GH and Matumba Man. Man are dangerously low. Matumba Man is trying to get these kills in order to stay alive, but he's not going to make it. Puppy gets the void just in time. Ace comes in. They've got the Reaper Scythe. They have enough damage. Maybe no, but GH mitigates it just enough that he's not going to be able to die, but the Blast finishes off both of them. Looks like the Necropost caught inside the lasso, but it's not enough either. And Ace, an easy double kill for him. And she gets the charge off. Kuro gets turned around on into the shit. He's six. And now Ace is able to jump in with a Hex. BKB gone from Miracle allows him completely susceptible to Team Liquid. And that's it! Secret! They've done it! Twelve, thirteen years ago, it started just purely passion and love for the game and, you know, hiding from real life. I was a kid. I mean, it's like at some point, like this kind of love or passion evolves into something else. Like motivation is fleeting, but hard work is lasting. That's what I say to my team all the time. We've been constantly looking at Liquid the whole year, so uh, it feels really good finally to beat them on a big stage major match, you know? It's a relief. I think one way to make yourself better just learn from your mistakes every game. Like even the games you play, pubs and whatever, if you watch a replay of yourself, like what you did wrong, so the next game it won't happen, it stays in your mind. It's like, okay, I fucked up once, but I can learn from it and it, so it won't happen again. Because it does make you a better player. You make uh, less mistakes, you focus more on yourself. And yeah, just playing more Dota in general. You're a professional, it's your career, it's your work, it's your, it's your life, it's your existence. This motivation thing, it's, it's gonna come back. It's, it always comes and goes, so just take it easy. <laughs>